Okay, we got our iPhone 17 pre-order locked in. Great. Now, what's next? Let's back up our current iPhone so we're ready when the new one shows up because we all know Wi-Fi can be a bit slow and unpredictable. So I have this little tip for you to speed things up. Every year we're excited and scramble to back up and restore our iPhone. This simple dongle can save us hours when moving our data. We just need this little USB-C to Ethernet adapter, guys. So there's a, there's a lot of them on the market. This one was like 10 bucks. You could also get a little hub that has, that's USB-C to Ethernet as well. Any of them will work. Uh, so all we're gonna do is plug this USB-C into the iPhone, and then we're gonna plug in the ethernet as well. So with that in, we're gonna hit the settings button. We're gonna go in the settings. We'll see, you see right underneath Wi-Fi here, we have ethernet now. We didn't have that. So if I unplug this, ethernet goes away. You see that? Okay, so let's plug it back in. Ethernet pops up. So we're gonna go into ethernet, tap into the interfaces, and we could see the information for the IP. Give it a second, right? It's gonna take a couple of seconds to negotiate and get a, a new IP from your router. So wait until you actually see something in here. Perfect, so now I have an IP address, right? We're golden. So now let's go back. Now, from the settings, we're gonna go into our profile and then into iCloud. Inside iCloud, we have iCloud Backup. We're gonna click that. So inside here, we do have an option here that says backup now, right? We're gonna click that. And then it's gonna start spinning and figure out how long it's gonna take and how much data. So this little bit might take a minute or two because it's just scanning and seeing what files are new and what needs to update. It's not actually moving anything over the internet or, or backing anything up. So now it's backing up um, and saying about less than a minute. But again, I backed this up recently. It's a lot faster with Ethernet plugged into it. Another nice little tip is if you have a Thunderbolt cable, you could plug your iPhone into your computer and airdrop over Thunderbolt. Uh, and if you have large files, let's say those ProRes files you have or any large video files, it's a lot faster and more reliable to just plug a Thunderbolt cable right in and transfer it real quick. And that's it for now. Backups are solid and ready for our shiny new iPhones. No Wi-Fi stress, just quick and reliable results. Oh, and since we're talking iPhone 17, I managed to snag my wife's Pro in orange and my Pro Max 512 by 5.01 a.m. Here's the crazy part. Delivery dates already slipped to the 25th. While most pickups still showed 19. What about you? Did you get lucky with your order? If this tip helped, hit that subscribe button so we can keep sharing tricks like this together. And drop a comment below. I'd love to hear what iPhone you ordered, which color you picked, or if you're planning to pick up or wait for delivery. I'll be hanging out in the comments, checking out your combos. Till next time.